First things first, happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Until GTA 6 come out, we still on this NBA 2K grind. I still be getting it and I still be hooping. And today I'm going to walk y'all through my speed run of how I went from 60 overall to 85 overall without spending any BC. Now, if you have a couple of builds already that you got the game, good, great, that can help you. But if you're getting this game on Christmas or you're starting off from scratch with no BC, this will help you as well. I'm going to walk y'all through it. Of course, if you hip to this game, it does include the My NBA method. But you can use your extra builds if you do have them to get some extra VC. And I'm going to show y'all everything y'all need to know how I went about going from 60 overall to 85 overall starting starting from the very beginning of the game. Now, since this is the holiday season, y'all be sure to hit that like button, give a thumbs up, you know, leave a comment down below and keep rocking, man. And we going to use this video as a way for everybody that needs VC to improve their method to speed it up as fast as possible. So let us know in the comment section if you have any suggestions, any additions to what I'm about to show y'all below. But one of the very first things that's very important is when you first go to micro and you pick your shoe rep, there's different options to get in VC for different endorsements. The one you want to choose, <laughs> drum roll please, not Adidas because you know you got to play the whole season to get rookie of the year. Uh, Converse, you got to break the rookie season record for blocks or steals, which is not bad, but that could take a while, especially if you're a little overall. Uh, winning the finals, if you want Jordan, but that takes the playoffs as well. Um, New Balance, our rookie team, got to play the whole season. Uh, Nike, got to win player of the month five times. Not bad, but it can get easier. Uh, Puma, break the rookie triple-double record 26. That's not bad at all, but the easiest one to get is the Under Armour, break the rookie season three-pointers made. You put the game on rookie, you'll splash that, get that 82,000 BC in no time. And every time you make a my player, this is the one that I would su suggest that you make, especially if you can't shoot threes. Now, if you can't shoot threes, choose one that's more applicable to you. Maybe the triple double is a little bit easier for you. But on rookie mode, it's absolutely cake. Now, obviously, if you're starting at 60, you want to put the game on rookie. I recommend putting the game on rookie. I know on Hall of Fame, you do get more BC. Now, if you can win on Hall of Fame, now go ahead and be my guest now if you're playing all hall of fame on the key games that's fine because you have to play the whole game anyways but if you're not playing hall of fame key games and you're playing regular season games that's not key games then just put it on rookie and i'll explain to you why right all right so when i go when you load up into your my player the first thing you want to do every day um if you're playing nba games and you grind the vc in my career is you want to make sure and check if you have a key game you have to play the whole game all the way through if you have a non-key game you can sim out or ask for bc after halftime if you're up double digits or more so um you also after you view this screen you want to make sure i believe after your first micro game you'll be able to change your minutes so you need to go to your my career go to career tracker and Put your minutes on the lowest amount possible so you can get out of these games as quick as possible. The lowest you can go is 24 minutes a game. Um, that definitely does help, especially when you're grinding VC. Now, this is the way I personally do it. As you can see right now, I got 3,296 VC, 84 overall. I have spent no money on this player. Now, I will give you a disclaimer and say this. I've already had my two five players, my 295 overall, so... I was able to stack up some BC playing with them. Now, if I go to the rec or I play uh, in the park or whatever, I have those players. I was grinding some BC up with them. But mostly I've been grinding this uh, player in my career and using the my NBA method. Now, every day you get on the game and you play a my career game, you want to do get your daily stat challenge. It's an easy 750 VC. Now, I have three my players. You can get your NBA stat daily challenge on every my player that you have. So, that's an extra 750 BC per my player. So, for example, if you had 10 my players and you did the daily stat challenge on every one of them, that's 7,500 every day. I have three. So, I'm running that up on each of those. Now, I'm going to go through this quickly. I played the whole game. So, obviously, my daily stat challenge was to get flashy assists, highlight plays, or dunks. So, I went for highlight plays and flashy assists. But simply as an example to show y'all that if you're a 60 overall and you're playing on rookie, it'll be a lot easier to get uh, assists playing on rookie just by passing to your teammates and winning games rather than um, if you're having it on a higher difficulty. Uh, as well... As if you don't have many attributes upgrades, you'll be you'll be all right getting assists. You can just pass the ball to your teammates. If you're on a good team like the Lakers, they'll help you out a lot. Now, if you're a higher overall, uh, like myself, uh, you can go for the dunks 
and you can get the highlight plays that way. But honestly, I just forgot that I was on this build that could dunk because my other builds, uh, my, my other build can't dunk, but this one can. So I could have went with the highlight dunks and got the highlight plays. That would have been a lot easier. But, you know, I think it's a good example to show for those players who have low overalls who might not be able to shoot as good yet because I know some of y'all got to find a jump shot. And, you know, but you can always pass the ball and expect your teammates to hit at a high clip, if you're, especially if you're on a good team. So be on some shooters, man. If you need some shooters around you, go to a team that can shoot. Now, the next thing you want to do, now I'm going to drop a link to the video of how you set this up. If you don't already know how to set this up or do this, which I'm sure maybe a lot of you may not know, but I got a whole video dedicated to how I set this up. It's the My NBA Era Method. I'm going to show you just how quick it is, how fast I pretty much do it, how I speed run through it, just like this. I load the game up. All of my players and configurations have been set. Everybody on my team is max height, 99 overall. Every other team in the NBA is minimum height. Um, so pretty much we pause the game as soon as we tip it off. We go to sim cast. We go to uh, we sim all the way to the fourth quarter. I put it on the fastest speed. So this is real time. This, I didn't speed up the video or anything. This is literally how quickly it goes. If you look at the bottom, it says fastest. When it gets around two minutes, I slow it down a little bit so it doesn't overshoot. I don't miss my time. When it gets to about 25, under 24 seconds, I stop the simulation. I jump in the game. I pause it. I go to SimCast Live. I pause it again. I hit jump in. I pause it again. I go to save and quit my NBA. And, you know, we on the Xbox Series X, so the speeds are spectacular. Go back to my NBA, load back into the game. You're going to be tossed in with however much time was left when you saved the game, right? Let's get, let's get in there. So it's 16 seconds left. I've got it as low as 0.5 seconds before, so you really can't get it low. But don't try to go for, like, under 10 seconds unless you just get it because you don't want to miss it and re have to redo it over. It doesn't take, take long, but, you know, I know there are times where I have – uh, missed the time trying to get it super close. So I just like the under when I see it get in the 20 second range I just kind of stop it and go from there now as you can see How quick I did that method From when I started and loaded up into my NBA the first time and how much VC you get that quickly If you implement this into playing my career, you will be able to stack up your VC fairly quickly Now as you can see I quit out look at the bottom left hand corner 1100 VC 1100 VC. Now it is a grind. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it is not gonna take you a while, or but it is definitely the one of the faster ways to get VC in the game and speed through it as quickly as possible. But you are able to get some attributes up in categories to make it so you can actually play with your my player in my career and then eventually take him to the rec center or the park. You get to 85, you can at least play with the player online. I don't really think it's a good idea to go to any online game mode. With a 70 overall or a late, low 80 overall with no badges, you're just going to be at a big disadvantage and, you know, you're going to be selling your team. Um, so, as you can see there, I loaded up on my other my players just to strictly show y'all that you can go on each my player and look at the daily challenge for each one of them. Um, and get that 700 BC, 750 BC on each one of them that you have. Uh, you gonna, but you will sometimes get different challenges for them. And you, a lot of time you will actually get a different challenges for each my player. Uh, they're not typically always the same. But if I go here to this guy, uh, you'll see he's there again on my other my player. So the more my players you have, you know, just to get VC methods, it'll be good. Win player of the month. Now, that's very, very easy. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you're playing on rookie. You really don't. I don't miss, especially since my player is actually a 95 overall with a very, very high three-pointer. So it's absolutely cake. And just to show y'all. Right, um, a faster way if you get the player of the month one is I've already I'm already in uh, January and I've already played some games in January. So you have to play your key games, or you can foul out once you get in if you want to. If you want to do it even quicker, so technically I can start that and foul out. But if you look at my previous games, I had 52 points in that game, 109 mm -hmm. points in the game before that. Um, I gotta go over again and uh, look at my stats for this game. And when I switch over, you'll see that I have 60 in that game, 73 in that game. So pretty much if I just 114 in that game, if I just go in that game, foul out, and then sim for the rest of the uh, the year, and then foul out the Portland Trailblazers game, I will get that VC, 750 VC, or I could just play the games out and then go back and do the My NBA era method. Now, the thing about the My NBA era method that I want to tell you why you can't repeat it because it's like kind of time. You can't do it back to back to back. So, the way I, I look at it is this way. You can either do it once after a key game, or if you have two regular season games that's not key games, and you ask out 
after halftime, I say about after two of those, it should reset and you you should be able to do it again. Um, that's the best way I found, the best method I found that you could do it. Or you could do, um, you know, like I, this is a regular season game for me, so I'm gonna show you how quick you can send them out after after halftime with VC and get all the VC you get, and then maybe do another quest or do something else that can kill a little bit of time. Or you could start another game. Like I said, I, I prefer to start another game personally, uh, just so I could be working on my VC. But you know, it's different ways you can go about it depending on your preference. But this is how I like to do it. So I just to quickly break it down to you. Um, after one key game, I go back and do my NBA method. After two halves of regular games, I'll go back and do my NBA method. You know what I mean? But I will show y'all for an example uh, a way. Uh, if, for example, you have another quest you can do, maybe something around the park um, to get some VC, like maybe a drill or something of that nature, or maybe you want to grind some badges in some kind of drill to get VC. Um, I'll show you that as well. Now I'm not going to show you gameplay because that that kind of doesn't matter. You just like I said, if you go up for the three pointers, just shoot the three pointers and get that VC as quick as possible. That's what I would recommend. Or if you're going for your daily challenge, work on that. But you know, none of that matters. All I want to let y'all know is don't foul. Uh, let the computer score. I like to run the half court trap and, and just double team. Um, let them shoot. Keep the clock running. Do not foul. And when when it gets under two minutes or or a minute and the clock starts stopping every time you score then I suggest you um, hold the ball until the clock's at like one second and then shoot but like try to not to get the get try to get out of the game as fast as possible as you can see it's on rookie 44 to 8 47 to 18 I didn't play that much in this game they took me out I should show you my minutes played but as you can see it's been eight minutes eight minutes played eight minutes played asked to sit out with BC so that's eight minutes as you can see there no, that's not much time at all. We blow them out. I'm not fouling very, very quickly. As soon as the second half starts, we send them out. And then you can see the VC accumulate at the end. So, pretty much, when it comes to speed running this VC, you need to combine all the methods that you have at your disposal so that all your VC will stack. Now, it will take a while to go from 60 to 85. That's, that's of course, if, you don't, if you're not buying it. But it is enough daily to get some meaningful attributes especially if you're a lower uh attribute overall player it definitely does help because trust me i didn't spend any vc on this build i mean money for vc on this build and um i could have i could have but you know i just kind of didn't want to after i, I bought four hundred fifty thousand at the beginning of the year because you know it's hard to start start from scratch but this definitely applies if you already have my players as well so you can see i got six thousand seven hundred and fifty seven uh vc so now the, the next thing i want to show y'all as you can see, look at the three points made, 76. Um, I believe you got to beat the Keegan Murray three-pointers. You need 206, and I can do that in no time, bro. It could take, like, if you if you really go on grinding it out, it might take a few games. If you sim, but I would still sim after halftime, ask out with VC, um, even where you're grinding that out, because just playing the whole game really is just wasting time. Like, you know what I'm saying? You might as well get the, the game career BC after every game while working towards that goal, because that'd be the fastest way to go about it rather than just playing long quarters and trying to get that in one game. Um, that's how I see it, because you got to look at it this way. You're going to hit the threes eventually anyways, and you're going to get the BC anyways as long as you're hitting threes in your rookie season. So you might as well just be accumulating the BC along the way. Now, another thing I want to show you all, is that you can get another quick 700 in VC on every my player you have once a week by going to the lethal shooter and working on your hot zones. It's very, very quick. It's very, very easy. These are some of the fastest ways in the game to stack up some VC. And I'm going to show you all how to get there as well. Now, if you need to know how to get somewhere, you can um, pause the game, go to your map, um, and then scroll around and look for the locations. I think you might have to hit select or something like that But it's one of those buttons, you know whenever you pull it up, but you go to the tunnel you want to go to the city east You can go to the city east as soon as you come out of the tunnel you're gonna bust that quick left You know you're gonna bust that left right there And then you're gonna run over until the front. Well, yeah, you bust that left I was right you're gonna run to the front of the door You're gonna speak to the lethal shooter you're gonna work on your high zones and once you get your high zones up you're going to get 750 BC. Now, if you still rocking with me in this video, this is a good point as well that I want to mention to y'all.
The good thing about putting the game on Ricky and get grinding your BC out is when you do pull him out, you should have all your hot zones that you want. And you can see around my three-point line, I have everything hot because that's what I be doing in my career, banging out the threes. Now, I'll move back into the mid-range and work on that next as well. Um, but by the time he gets to the park, to the wreck, he's going to be deadly. He's going to be ready to go. You know what I'm saying? He's only at 84 overall right now, and I have my whole three-point line uh Red hot and my three only at 82 overall. My mid range is a 90. So when I get my hot zones in my mid range, it's gonna be cake, gonna be cooking up. So this is another good thing that you can work on when you're doing this is be sure to get your hot zones. You know, don't be sitting there wasting time not getting your hot zones when you know you sitting there looking at BC playing on rookie. That's the whole. That's kind of one of the main reasons you play on rookie as well. Cause on Hall of Fame, it's a lot tougher to get those hot zones and get these shots off. You're gonna work a lot harder to get hot zones. Trust me. When I first got this game, I played on Hall of Fame, just thinking, okay, if I play on Hall of Fame and practice, uh, by the time I get to the rec, by the time I get to the park, the game gonna feel easier for me. But honestly, you know, I mean, it's cool playing on Hall of Fame or whatnot, cause you get play like, it's tougher defense. But honestly. Getting your hot zones a rookie is a lot easier. It makes the game a lot easier when you actually go online. That's just as simple as it is to me. Rather than trying to suffer through the Hall of Fame difficulty. Because I suffer. It's definitely tough shooting the Hall of Fame. But boom. You get 750 on your BC. You can do this for every mile player you have. But you can only do this drill once a week. And your, your lethal spots reset every week. So you have to do it every week to get your lethal spots like back. That. But it's a very quick and easy 750 BC yeah, method to stack up. And if you combine this method with everything we just did. You'll be able to run it back up. Now, since we did the um, asked semi with VC method and did a quick little uh, high zone drill, now it seems like a good time to go back to my uh, my NBA era, do that method again, grab that VC, and then start repeating it all over again. You know, uh, as far as playing the my career game. So you know, we're gonna quit out of here. Look at my progression. Got seven thousand five hundred VC. So it's definitely stacking up. You're not sitting there grinding out long my career games. You know, you got lots of ways to get VC. You do have to take advantage of them. Even the other quests that you may have as well. You still have your weekly quest that you should be working on as well. I believe you get 2000 for your weekly NBA challenge as well. And I, But I've already been working on that, so that's why you didn't see that one. Now, I will say that if you do, if you do this, my NBA method, too quick in succession, that it won't give you any VC. So just to be safe, because I feel like I did it a little bit quickly. Um, I just cut my minutes down a little bit. It's about two minutes, you know, you know what I'm saying? If you do it, I say about after 30 minutes or so, it should reset all the way. You should be able to keep it on 12 minutes. But, you know, just to be on the safe side. I mean, even if it didn't get it, you know what I mean? I could put it back on 12 minutes and wait a little bit longer, and then you, you'll be able to get it. But, you know, like I said, it's about being efficient. It's about trying to be efficient with this and, and get it as quickly as possible and get in and out of these games as fast as you can. But, as you can see, you simcast, continue simulation, put it on the fastest speed possible. You'll be in the fourth quarter in absolutely no time. When it gets about that two-minute range, I like to slow it down a little bit so I don't overshoot. Then you want to stop it, play, jump in game, pause it, simcast live, uh, jump in, then save and quit, and then reload in there, and you'll get your VC. Now, I will link this video, the video on how to set that up, how I set it up personally, down below in the comment section and in the, and in the description as well. If you need to see that and need to know how, to, how I set it up personally to get it. Um, but you could do it just by... Uh, going into my nba but it's a lot easier when you you know winning the games and all that by like 50 points and getting all the vc you could possibly get it's a very very honestly the best method in the game on by far to get a thousand plus vc every time you do it and every time you load the game up you should be doing this if you need vc every time you fire up a game you should be doing this every time you know what i'm saying simply put if you do it all 82 games it's 82,000 vc if you do it for two seasons you know what i'm saying that's over 160,000 um bc so it definitely will add up it definitely will stack especially even if you don't need the bc now if you're just doing it when you hop on and at some point you want to create a new my player you want animations you'll have the vc for it because one thing about creating a new my player is it's not enough to just get to 85 overall i still have to buy animations that i don't already have now Another little gift I got for y'all is the last one, the Chris Brickley drills. I think you can do this once a day. Maybe it's once a week as well. I can't remember because I don't do these drills anymore. But I got 750 for that as well. So I just went ahead and did that uh, just to show y'all uh, that it popped up 750 BC. But you, you're going to be playing a 3v3 game or a 5v5 game to 21. Um, super quick, super easy. 
And as you can see here now, I'm going to go to my mic, my progression. And as you can see, I got the double rip up there. It's the Christmas time. This is an updated video, man. I'm going to go ahead and put my BC on my player. I'm going to hit 85 overall. And this is the way. This is the way that I absolutely uh, spent it to grind out my BC. Uh, like I said, if you have another my player and you like to play rec and you like to play uh, park, then play on that my players in the park and rec. Grind the BC up that way. Um, try not to buy as many skill boosts personally, cause that that might take it take your tight take away some BC from you. But if you're doing the my NBA era method to get the skill boost, that will also help you as well. Like I said, instead of just spending your hard earned BC, hit my NBA as soon as you get on the game. That's gonna buy the skill boost you need at least one of them. Now don't be buying a pack of them. Now you know buy like jump shot times ten and you're good. But anyways, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all want to see this build go from 85 to 99, y'all just let me know down below. I will come up with another alternative, another method to do that as well. But, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all have a good holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Till next time, Denski out.